Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And at the conclusion of this presentation, I will have the high temperature in Newport for the Jazz Festival tomorrow. But first, let's get through some of the numbers and the stats. How about this to start with? We have that famous dew point chart, and this shows a changing trend into tomorrow. Now, right now, dew points in the low to mid 60s. You could call that a little sticky, although fairly pleasant out there right now. Tomorrow, we bring dew points down into the upper 50s. That's noticeable, but it'll be noticeably more comfortable than today. And then on Monday, right back up with the humidity, and it sticks around for Tuesday as well with the chance of some showers and thunderstorms. We're going to keep you in the low category on the Eyewitness News Threat Tracker all the way through Monday. A slight chance of some storms on Tuesday where we could elevate things to the medium category. Notice just a beautiful scene behind me. This is water fire. You can see some of the torches here in the background, a very busy Saturday night in Down City, Providence, celebrating a really fun summertime tradition. Now, notice where it's still relatively warm, 71 in Tiverton. We're in the 70s in Warwick, but in Smithfield, we're in the upper 60s. It's in places like Smithfield out into uh, Rehoboth, many inland spots in Bristol County, Massachusetts, which could sneak into the upper 50s by early tomorrow morning. It might feel kind of nice if you want to break from the seat and some of this mugginess. Now, on the satellite picture, you will notice that trail of showers flaring up this afternoon, but these were very, very isolated showers. Many of us miss these, and everybody misses the showers tomorrow. That's because this front will be to our south, pulling in that drier air, and that will lead to a forecast like this. 7 o'clock in the morning, 68 degrees, just a beautiful morning to be outside, maybe on the early morning walk. Maybe the dog wants to go out early. A great morning to uh, take a walk with your friend. By 9 o'clock in the morning, 7 76 degrees, 11 o'clock in the morning, up to 82, and another warm day on the way. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, a bit of a breeze from the middle to the later part of the afternoon at around 5 to 15 miles an hour, and just a beautiful day at the beach. Mostly sunny skies, a temperature around 82 in the afternoon with a low risk of rip currents, but the risk will still be there. Now, boating looking good as well. Waves around 2 feet in Narragansett Bay, high tide, 9.53 in the morning with that wind out of the southwest at around 5 to 10 knots. Seven day future cast shows 87 for Monday. Now Monday is going to feel different because the humidity will be much higher. And then Tuesday it's muggy as well with the chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. Some of these could start late Monday night, kind of iffy right now, but it does look like the daylight hours of Monday remain rain free. And then as promised, here is your forecast for Newport tomorrow. The Jazz Festival looking great. 81 degrees, a little breezy in the afternoon at Newport. Not too warm, not too cool, just Perfect to watch and listen to some jazz. The rest of the seven day future cast brings in some cooler temperatures for the second half of the week. Again, some showers and thunderstorms mm -hmm. to get through on Tuesday, but if you're looking for the 70s, they do return by the end of the week. Great weather, great music for the Jazz Festival. It's really the humidity for Monday and Tuesday that makes the difference. Exactly, so, yeah. and you will notice that to start right. the work week. Thank you, Pete. Coming up in sports on Eyewitness News.